This square starts with four rounds of granny square, so that's what I'm going to show you first. You start with a slip knot, and I leave about a five or six inch end on my slip knot, and then you put that on your hook like that, and you chain four. One, two, three, four. You join with a slip stitch to form a ring, so I'll be going right in here, yarn over, and then bring that through the loop on my hook. And then there's a ring right here. You don't want to work back into here because you'll be working into back into the starting chain. You want to go right in here, the center of the ring. So to start my first round, I'm going to chain five, and that's going to count as my first double crochet and chain two all the way through at the begin at very beginning. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and five. Then I'm going to work a group of three double crochets into the ring, into the center of the ring, and I'm also working over the end of my starting chain. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and then I'm going to chain two for the corner, and then three more double crochets into the ring. And then I'm going to chain two for the corner again, and three more double crochets into the center chain. Then I'm going to chain two for the next corner. Now I've got three sides with the, each one of the groups here creates the side of the square, and the chain two creates the corners. So I'm going to chain two for this last corner and this right here needs two more double crochets to complete the group on that side. So I'm going to put two doubles there like that and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch to, to the first double crochet. So I count one, two, three and that will be the equivalent of the first double crochet and I insert my hook from front to back, yarn over, bring that through, and then bring that through the loop on my hook. And that completes round one of my granny square. And the reason why I work over my end of my starting chain is so that when I get done, I can pull that and not have a hole in the middle. If you don't care about that, you don't really have to do it that way, but that's the way I like to do it. So now, the other reason why I do the other thing that I do that might be different for you is that this chain five, but I like doing the chain five because that puts me right at the next corner I do, and I can work all my rounds from the right side instead of flipping back and forth. So now I'm just going to slip stitch into the first chain two space and to do that I insert my hook from front to back draw a loop out, bring that through the loop on my hook, and I'm going to chain five again. Every corner is going to start like that. And then I'm going to work a group of three double crochets into that same space. And then I'm going to chain one right here and I'm going to work a shell of three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets in the corner. Chain two space. So there's my three doubles, and I'm going to chain two, and then I'm going to put three more doubles into the same space. And then I'm going to chain one for the side, so now I've got two corner chain two spaces. I've got a chain one in between them on the side. And 
and then chain one and then this is my last corner here see right there one two three and chain two And then chain one for the side. Okay, now when I come back around, I need to add more to my first corner because I only have the equivalent of one double crochet here and I needed three on this side. So I'm going to go back into the first corner that I worked and just add two more double crochets. And then you just join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet. So you count one, two, three, and that's where you join. So I'm going to insert my hook from front to back, yarn over, draw that loop up, and you bring that through the loop on my hook. And that completes round two. So now I'm going to slip stitch again into the next into that corner. Then I'm going to chain five again. So every round like this, you could keep doing this forever and ever and ever, and it'll be the same um, type of pattern. So it's three, four, five, and then you put the three doubles into that corner, like that, and then you chain one, and then in that chain one space on the side, you're gonna put a group of three double crochets. Okay, the next corner, you want to put a shell of three double crochets, just like we did in the previous round. Three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And then you chain one. There's always, on, the, on my pattern, people do their granny squares different, but on my pattern, I have a chain one in between every group like this. So you just continue around like that and you put your group of three double crochets along the side. So that's how you do round three. And then round four, if you look at round four here, it's the shell on the corner, chain one, and you see that you now have two groups of three double crochets. So each round, when you do the, if you did another round, you'd have three groups. So each round, you just have one more group of three double crochets. So that's all you do to complete your square. And when you finish off, leave a really long end, and then I'll show you how to sew your squares together. So now I've completed round four and as you can see I've got two groups of three double crochets in, on the sides and then the shell on the corners. Now I'm going to join and finish off so I thought I'd show you that. So you just slip stitch in the third chain, so I'm going to yarn over, bring that through. Then I'm going to chain one more time just like this and I'm going to tighten the back side of it. Okay, then. I leave quite a long end, maybe 18 inches or so. I cut that, and I want this for sewing. And the other advantage of doing your granny square like this is that that chain five, when you join right here, it puts you right in the corner, so when you go to sew it together, like your end is right there. So I like it for that too. So before I show you how to sew these squares together, I'm going to show you how to put this little trim on here. Okay, so you take your contrasting yarn and you want a really good contrast or else it's not going to show up. Okay, and you make a slip knot again. Okay, and this has worked in the cha uh, corners of round one and up in the center double crochet of the three double crochet groups of round two and in round one. So it, you zigzag back and forth um, with chains and single crochets to create this little um, 
trim here. So I'm going to start in any corner and I am going to, I want to go into that chain two space that's buried underneath that shell there of round one. So I'm just going to pull those apart right there so I can see it. And to join with a single crochet, you start with a loop on your hook. You insert the hook from front to back and then yarn over, bring that forward, yarn over, and bring that through the two loops on your hook, just like that. So then I chain three, and then I'm gonna single crochet in the next center double crochet of the next, I'm gonna, I'm gonna single crochet in the center double crochet of the next three do double crochet group of round two. So that would be right here. So I'm going to single crochet, chain three, then I'm going back down to round one, so it's back and forth between the two rounds. And I'm going to go in that center double crochet right there, and then I'm going to chain three, then I'm going back up to round two, and then I'm going to chain three. And then I'm going down into the, the uh, chain two space of round one corner. So I'm going to push these apart. I'm going to go in here and work a single crochet. Chain three. Once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. And then I'm going to single crochet onto round two. You always go back and forth. You should be on round two and then on round one and then round two. Go back and forth. So I'm going down here to round one chain three and back up to round two right here and then chain three then I'm going back down to the chain two space of round one with a single chain three and then back up here and then chain three and then back down here and then chain three and then back up here chain three and then I'm going back down into the corner one, two, three and then I'm going back up to round two right here and then one two three and then back down here one two three and then back up here one two three okay now I'm back where I joined so all I need to do is join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. So I'm just going to go in here, yarn over, bring that through, and bring that through the loop on my hook. And then I'm going to chain one. I'm going to tighten the back. I'm going to trim this one not so long, but it's going to be, I go like this, so that's probably about five inches maybe. And I'm going to go like this and then just pull the yarn out and that locks the stitch right there and then I'll sew that in like that so then that creates a cute little trim on a granny square and you don't really know it's a granny square underneath there when after you put that trim under there I'm going to show you how to sew these squares together and there are several ways to sew squares together but this is just my version uh, the way I do it most of the time. What I do is I just pick up the back loop of each one of these stitches I match the exact double crochet stitch with this one over here and I go back and forth and I only pick up the back loops and then when I get done it's what's called an invisible seam and all you see is that little ridge right here you can see it right here I sewed it together like that so to thread your needle you take this and you fold it over the eye the side of the eye of your needle and you pinch super tight and then you open your pinched 
fingers just a little bit, just enough to get the eye of the needle over the folded part of the yarn. And then you push that over it and then you pull that fold out of the needle like that. Okay, so um, I'm right here at the corner. So what I'm going to do is work from the wrong side. So I have the two right sides here and I'm going to fold them to face each other. And I'm right here. So I want to, I'm going to pick up both um, of these chains in the corner. There's two. And I am going to match this chain with that outer chain right there. So, and I'm not picking up the inside loop, I'm picking up the back loop right here, and I've got the back loop over on this side too. So I'm going in here, and then I'm going over here. And then, pull it all through like that. And then, because it's the corner, I'm going to go over that one more time like this. Okay, that's the first chain. Then I go into the next chain like this and like this. Okay, now I'm ready to start matching up my double crochet stitches. So I need to go into this first one here and match it up with this one over here. And I'm going into the back loop, I'm not picking up this loop. So I'm just going to pick up one from each side, one loop from each side, and then right here, I'm going here, and over there, and then here and here, and then now I'm matching up the chain. So I'm going to match up this chain, the chain one that's between the three double crochet groups, with that chain over there like that. And then, I'm down here to this one. Now I'm matching up the next three double crochet group. And after all of your work making these granny squares, you definitely want to sew it together good so it doesn't fall apart. Especially if you're giving it as a gift, you don't want it to fall apart. Okay, so when you get a little ways along, this is probably about three inches into it, you want to pull this to make sure it's kind of snug. Uh, you don't want to pull it too much where it gathers, but you want to pull it so it's really straight in there. And you might want to check your other side and make sure you're doing good. So here I've got, the reason why I went into both chains is so that I don't have a little dip right here. So um, even though I caught that second chain there, it's caught like right at the base of it. So you still, basically you can still see the chain is still there. So, um, so that's how you um, sew the squares together. And you just continue down and when you get to the end, you sew the two corner chains together and then weave in, sew in your ends. And just sew in your ends. I'll do this one right here. You do the same thing, you thread your needle. And wherever you come out, uh, wherever your yarn comes out, you want to go behind it just a little bit. Now this is that end of the starting chain that I worked over, so I kind of pull that tight. And then I came out right here, so I'm going to go just about an eighth of an inch behind it and then come out maybe a half inch away from it out here and then I'm gonna go behind that again and back out and then behind and back out and then behind it and back out so that's gonna stay pretty secure in there I might have wanted to go into the green so you wouldn't see those little green things but and then when you cut, don't cut down into it, you cut flat like this. So that's how you do that. Okay, so that's how you make the granny square, put the trim on, and sew your squares together. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I enjoyed um, doing them. 
and all the links to everything that I used in the video, the yarn, the hooks, everything, will be below the video wherever you're watching it. So there'll be links to the pattern, to the crochet hooks, to the yarn and everything. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy crochet.